Against the Wind. That's right. It's a great song. Bob Seger. There you go. Someone's going to ask me. They always do. They shoot me an email. What song was that? All right. Um, welcome back to SOS. I'm Stop Sorry About Us. I'm kind of chilling today. I, it's raining outside, so I'm just kind of doing my normal thing that I, I, I like to do. I like doing this. This is the kind of videos I like to make. I've been asked several times to do a basics for those people out there that want to get started and get into this stuff and they don't know where to start they have no idea and I get people that are penny pinchers and that too I get I get a lot of different types but I can tell you I can't tell you how to pinch your pennies and I can't tell you how to buy your stuff I can I can tell you what you need and one way or another that's as long as you get something equivalent to that then there you go I'm not gonna nitpick that's that's just me uh, we've all been there we've all been there all right but you got to start somewhere and it's not too late it's not too late to start don't let anyone tell you that it's too late and you shouldn't do it because that's just ignorant you shouldn't talk to people like that anyway all right uh, here we go so uh, <laughs> like I said I'm uh, an anomaly of the prepper world I I, I don't think you know uh, the sky is going to go black tomorrow, but if it does, you need to be prepared for everything. Because if you prepare for just one thing, then you're probably going to be <laughs> up one of those creeks without a paddle, right? So uh, you want to prepare for everything. It's kind of like you know when I, I talk about in martial arts that uh, you could get attacked from the side, the rear, you know, from the front. But if you're always planning for that face-to-face -face fight, you're going to lose. You're you're not going to be faced with your opponent all the time. It's not going to happen. There is going to be a surprise attack. You're, they're not going to come at you from the front in a certain way every single time. They're not going to stand still for you, and you know you're going to get a left hook. There's going to be a lefty out there. You're not always going to get punched from someone's right side. It's not going to happen. You could get a leg sweep. All sorts of things could happen. It's kind of like with martial arts when I tell people that if you're going to train for this stuff, you need to try to just keep a clear head. You're going to have to try to keep a clear head. It's just like prepping. You're going to have to keep a clear head. And uh, it's just like in a uh, doomsday SHTF scenario, you're going to have to keep your head clear because you could be attacked from all different angles. And if you're, if you're planning your attack in combat you're going to die you're going to get yourself killed and uh, you have to keep your hope and you have to plan for keeping that hope alive not focused on what well if you know if you stop and set and go my enemies going here here and here chances are you're going to get killed if you stop so you got to keep moving you got to be spontaneous and it goes with preps you're going to have to be spontaneous with that too. You don't have to do it all by the book. Just as long as you're keeping the basics in line. I know a lot of that doesn't make sense to some people, but it does to me. And that's all that matters. <laughs> that's how I roll. All right. Uh, let's see. I, I took notes when I was eating lunch. And uh, I've got all this stuff written down on my paper plate here. And i got a little checklist that I've got. I, I wrote that a while back in another video. So... The average American has about a you know a month of supplies a month you know I'm I'm just being you know I'm being really nice by saying a month you know it could be three days but the average you know average average person is like three days you know the average person is like a month and then uh, people in the prepper community possibly a year you know what I mean I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm, I, there's no way. I'm not doing it. About 10% of the United States, let's say that, will be okay. But others that want to be a part of this community are working towards that uh, long-term goal. Long-term. Uh, growing food and all that cool stuff. You know, getting further into that. You know, 
Prepping is just that stepping stone. You know, they call it prepping, but it's kind of like that crude word that they just threw out there. They have to label everything. You know, everything's got to have a name to it and be fancy. You got to be all fancy pants. You got to have a name. So they call us all preppers. You know, you're all a bunch of preppers. You know, what'd you call me? So uh, it's just a type of preparedness, you know, and homesteading and things like that. It's kind of like when people made up the name bushcraft. You know, it's, it was bushcrafting. It's, well, back in the day, they called it survivalist. But uh, <laughs> you could go in the woods with just your pants on, or you could go without, just saying, naked and afraid, right? At least give me a pocket knife. Come on. All right, so uh, enough jokes, enough jokes. I'll get serious. So uh, if a uh, grid goes down in all sorts of different ways, all sorts of different ways, from from your EMPs to an economic collapse, if if we have a financial collapse, your grid's going to go down. <laughs> People will say, oh, well, they'll keep the power on, right? No, they won't. You won't have power. You won't have, you won't have electricity. You won't have water, and your water treatment facility is going to go poop. All this, yeah, you're going to go out to your local lake and it's just going to be pooping it. I'm just saying, all those types of things are going to happen to you. Uh, that's why it's water purification tablets and things like that. Those those fancy pump style filters and things like that are going to be coming, coming in handy real quick. Uh, uh, like the RV filters, those really large ones, things like that you could use. There's all sorts of stuff budget-wise you could use. In the place of these fancier filters out there, you could do so many different things just as long as you can filtrate your water and keep yourself from getting sick and dying because uh, water will get you sick fast. But water is essential. You need that first. And uh, food is definitely going to be on that list. But I'm going to get to that. I just want to make sure I kind of stay on track here. One thing that's going to happen is the gangs you know your your lifelong criminals and things like that they're going to be out to rob you breaking into places taking stuff you know it they don't know i mean most most people that do stuff like that they don't know any better you know well they do know better but you know what i mean it's just they don't they don't realize that what is this going to do to help how is this going to help you know going around killing innocent people and taking their stuff and things like that. How is that going to help? How are you helping anybody? You're not building a community. It's it's not doing anything to help. You're just total destruction. You know, you just want to see the world burn. I, those people are not going to help you, right? And you need to get away from those people fast, right? But you, that's another thing that I need to talk about. And the one place that's going to have the most of that is going to be the cities. I hate to say it. I hate to say it because there's people out there that live in the city and they love their cities. They love it. And they love that life, and there's some people that don't, and they want out. If you don't like it, get out. Get out. Move. And it, there's plenty of land here. It, there's always land where I'm at for sale all over the place. There's a there's a house up the road. It's got it's a awesome prepper location. It's for sale right now, and it's uh it's just not going anywhere. It's crazy, and it's not that much money. It, it, people could do that. Getting out of debt, things like that, you know, I have to say that right after I say buying a house. But uh, those things will lead to being able to do things like that. All right. Get out of the city. You know, there's survival guides to living through that, but it's not worth it. All right. I'm going to get into gear you're going to need to, and also... If if you think that there's no turning back and you're going to have to leave and get to your BOL, that's bug out location. If you're going to need to get to your BOL to get out of the city, you're probably going to need a gas mask. Because if there's riots and if there's riot police and, and things like that, if they call in those types of people, you're going to want to purchase yourself a somewhat decent gas mask. Because it's going to be good if you can breathe to get away from people faster so that you don't get sucker punched or robbed, you know, your pack gets stolen, things like that. You you don't want to deal with that stuff. Functional clothing. Make sure you have functional clothing. That's the other thing that's really important. Things that you can move in and things that can breathe and also multifunction clothes. Multifunction. 
things that can go from from long to short that's another good option to have I'm saying long sleeve to short sleeve if that's possible uh, from pants to shorts if that's possible I know they make all that stuff and it's there's plenty of it out there and another a functional clothing though make sure you can move around in it boots get yourself a pair of boots I know Nike you can run pretty fast in but Nike's not going to hold up to the elements like a good old pair of boots boots you can kick with and you can fight with you can use those to defend yourself with you've got a good pair of boots and uh, I'm not talking about the type of hiking boots that you get that are low tops kind of things I'm talking something that covers your shins because if you get a swift kick to the shins it's not going to be a good day for you and you're going to have a hard time walking for a while so make sure you have something to protect your ankles and your shins and your feet right functional clothing purchase some functional clothes it's a good investment it's a good investment to have I'm not going to tell anyone out there to go buy bulletproof vest and things like that I'm not getting into all that crap this is just your basics right your basics if you're having to escape a scenario like that and you have a few minutes to get that going for yourself and uh, when I tell people to get started doing this stuff if you're going to get started doing it just get yourself a Rubbermaid container start getting the items that you want until you get it all put together you don't have to go buy the bag first that's you know because then people start picking up items around their house and be like I might need this ink pen you know next thing you know you've got a kit that's like 70 pounds so to, to avoid doing that just get yourself a rubber rubber make container focus on water focus on food and when it comes to food like I was just talking about growing your own food get something like mountain house you know I'm, I'm not I'm not trying to promote them at all I know everybody talks about mountain house but you can if you want to, you have a choice. You are a human, and you can think for yourself. You can, if you want to, get yourself some Mountain House. All right? There are several other companies that do the exact same thing. Long-term food storage. I got it. Do you need it? No, you don't. You don't have to buy it. You could. Now, when I did my food preps video... Top Ramen won't last a year. It, it, it goes bad at like, I think, 11 months or so. It goes bad. It's it's because it's fried. It's because it's fried. I'm sorry. But pasta doesn't expire. You can keep that stuff for ages. So you could just get yourself some pasta and throw it in your, in your kit. But then you're going to be boiling water. Keep all that stuff in mind. It's strictly up to you what food choices you decide on. Uh, now your uh, uh, trail mixes and stuff like that can expire too so be careful about packing that stuff it can go rancid and you open it up and it's just funky smell so I, I've had I've had a lot of trail mix just go nasty so before you go on the trail mix kick just think about that and you're gonna have to change that stuff out often this is with food water I already talked about but choose your food choices wisely beef jerky you can get beef jerky and throw beef jerky in there. It's going to last. It'll be fine. There's a, there's, there's, uh, um, there's a tuna creations and all kinds of things like that. There's all to, in the seafood section. If you go to any seafood section of any store, all your canned everything has an expiration date of a couple of years. So there you go. You know what I mean? That'll cover you for a couple of years. It's in your food store. Just make sure you change that stuff out. So you don't have to go buy all the fancy stuff. All right, I already covered functional clothing, things like that. Axe, axe, shovel, knife, machete, multi-tool, a good blade, a all the good tools, something to sharpen those tools. Let me get my other list here. And uh, a saw, uh, like I said, axe or hatchet, sewing kit, fishing equipment would be good, a little kit for fishing. Something a little bit bigger than fishing. You know what I mean, in case you need to fish, in case you know the world hasn't gone completely off all crazy a little fishing kit saw sharpener for all your tools you need something to sharpen everything <sighs> and a small shovel there you go get yourself a small shovel that works it's good to have items like that because most people the reason why I say that is because most people that live in certain areas do not have those items they do not have them 
They don't exist in their house at all. They probably don't even have a multi-tool. I'm not talking trash. I'm just saying that the, most people out there don't have those kinds of items in their home. Just saying. And they, they couldn't even think of the first type of knife that they would have. Some people don't carry pocket knives, right? Hang on a sec. All right. The one thing, like, like I said, most people don't have those items in their home. So they're not even going to think about what their favorite knife is or any of that stuff. Like I said, most people don't even carry a pocket knife. I've ran into those people. <sighs> Ammo and firearms. Yep, yeah, I got to say it. Uh, if, if anything, a shotgun. A shotgun's the ultimate prep. Like I said, it's the easiest to reload. If you're getting into reloading, it's uh, you can jump right into reloading shotgun shells. Anyone can do that. A caveman can do it, but a shotgun, ultimate prep, that's all you need. And if if you decide to get other items, then there you go. Someone asked me the other day, what's what about your favorite rifle? My, uh, Remington 700 308, that's one of my favorites. There you go. You can take down pretty much anything with that. And a shotgun can take down anything North America. So anywhere around, there you go. When it comes to a deer, a bear, whatever, a shotgun will do the job, believe it or not. Not buckshot. You're going to have to learn your ammo. You're going to have to learn about slugs and double op and different types of specialty ammo. What that stuff does. But get it while you can. In case there's some sort of martial law that takes an effect, you're going to want to make sure you have all this stuff before that happens. It's, and get a pump. Everybody loves the sound of a pump. A pump will scare people off sometimes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> sometimes it might make somebody crazy. You never know what kind of people you could come up against. But uh, don't think that that sound will scare them and that's the end of it. So you're going to have to be willing to shoot. Alright. Let's get into compass and maps. Different types of maps. I, I brought these out. like <laughs> I collect different types of compasses and things like that. I always like this sort of stuff. This is a, this is an antique. This is something that you would not express yet. You something you would not use for, yeah. That <laughs> Christopher Columbus had that right. Now this is something a style that you could find real easy. This is a military grade compass. It has everything that you need for finding everything that you need to find. Now. You can sight this in and all sorts of stuff. Now, this is the style military compass that you want to get. This is the one that you need right here. Because internet, your phone, all that stuff is going to cease to exist. Every bit of that. You're not going to be making phone calls, text messages, and things like that. Another thing that you're going to need to get involved with is comms. Being able to connect to other people through a other means of communication, i.e. ham radio, right? Ham radio. I've got a lot of these. Now, I picked this one up the other day. This one's just the United States. I've got one over here for Tennessee that I left out from my last video. I keep forgetting to throw that in my bag. I guess I should probably do that. But uh, I can remember everything else, but I always forget that stuff. Now this has got your west coast side on it, and then over here it's got your east coast side on it. And it's got all your grids, alright? Everything that you would need to find your way around. And I could point, look, we're going here. So once I get out of, say I'm using this one, I don't have any other maps. Say once I get out of Tennessee, for example, say I get out of Tennessee, alright? It's got all your parks and recreational places on it too quick and easy to find. Once I get out of Tennessee, then I can pull out my United States if I don't have any other maps. So this would get me by. It would get me to the main roads or side roads. And it actually has some side roads on here too. So it would get me to some different roads and find my way around. I'd find my way one way or another, right? Because one thing that I really like to do is anything with compass and maps. I'm not going to do a land navigation video. That's for somebody else. There's so many awesome videos for land nav. Anyone can, well not anyone can do that video. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. 
It's, it's not an easy class to teach. All right. Most people don't understand it. Let's see. Shelters. <sighs> Rain poncho. Once again, something functional, right? Rain poncho is going to be important. Space blanket. Everybody knows that. You know, you can get yourself a space blanket. It, in some situations, you're probably not going to be using it. But it's always good to have in case you do need it. In case you're wet and cold or naked and afraid, right? All right. One change of clothes, uh, a tent, tube tent, or a tarp would work. And I forgot to mention, did I mention work gloves? I can't remember. And it's, I'm talking to you like you can talk back to me. All right. So, definitely shelter. And the other thing that goes with shelter, a list of family. And um, in case you're for a BOL, you could have, oh, I got location, there you go. So for a BOL, you could find family on your list. You know, it could be family or friends or something like that. Someone you trust that you can go there and wait it out until the chaos is ended. There's a chance that society could come back. Like I said before, um, uh, I've said this before, keeping cash at your home. What if they close down the ATMs? You're not getting any cash out, right? And you can invest in gold and silver all you want to, but barter and trade is going to be the way to go. Some people don't realize that, but what's toilet paper going to be worth 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 to you if you don't have any, right? Like it's just like cigarettes and and coffee, you know. What's it going to be worth to you? Uh, the the grid's gone down for, you know. It's it's week one. It has passed. What's you know someone who needs something that badly? What's it going to be worth to them, right? Barter and trade's going to be one of those things. It's going to be way more important than you tell me gold or silver. Hey, man, I'll give you some silver for that TP. I'm going to tell you no. I'm going to tell you no right now. I don't want your gold. I don't want your silver. You, you better have something that I want or I'm not doing business. Gold and silver is not going to buy me. All right. Just saying. <laughs> Am I mean? I, I'm cold hearted. Uh, turn them away. Turn them around. Turn them away, B.A. All right, um, like I said, growing your own food, already mentioned that. Uh, lighters, matches, candles, lanterns, all that stuff. That's for home use. You know, most of the stuff is for home use. But lighters and matches are important. And obviously, other means of making fire, you know, i.e. ferro rod and things like that. You're going you're gonna to want stuff like that. You know, your flint and steel types of things. You're going to want something else to be able to create fire because... Uh, it's going to last a lot longer than a lighter. A big lighter is going to go out on you long before a ferro rod will. Uh, the reason why so many people, a lot of people don't know this, a lot, a lot of the reasons why most of us use a uh, ferrocin rod and things like that, your ferro rods, and uh, you know, a piece of steel, you know, good carbon steel. The reason why we do that is because it lasts a lot longer than a big lighter and it lasts a lot longer than matches. And uh, I can I can get a fire going way more times than I can with something else. And it's something that I can connect to my knife, and my knife stays in my sheath, and my sheath stays on my body, on my belt. That's something to keep in mind if you're doing this stuff. It all stays together. And if it all stays together, unless I'm naked and afraid, it's still there, right? <laughs> I'm still making jokes, sorry. I'll keep going. First aid. First aid kits, things like that. Small one for your bug out bags and uh, main stuff for your house. Anything medical related should not get turned away. Anything medical related does not matter. Collect it. Get it. Uh, military surplus stores are probably the best. You can find suture kits and all sorts of cool stuff. And uh, By suture kit it comes with a sterilized needle and all your thread and things like that. You can get so much cool stuff from military surplus. Just saying. You can type in military surplus medical. There you go. And you'll probably find tons of it. I will help you. Vitamins. Uh, all sorts of vitamins and supplements are going to be important. It's good to collect that stuff. And if it starts to expire and go bad, toss it. Go get more. It's just one of those things you're going to have to cycle out. Like I said, the basics. This is just the basics. 
hygiene uh, hygiene items. I just mentioned TP and what it's worth to you. Believe it or not, you don't realize like if if I go without brushing my teeth, it, it'll drive me nuts, and you can you can feel it. You just you have to have it. You have to have a toothbrush and some toothpaste and other items, right? Other items you're probably gonna need. I, I'm not gonna be shaving. I don't feel I don't feel like shaving. <laughs> but but you're gonna want some TP. I'm just saying, <laughs> some TP is important. But other other means of you know hand sanitizer stuff like that. It's gonna be important. Soap and uh, if you get like glycerine soap, it's gonna last a lot longer. It's gonna be way more hardcore. Than some cheap stuff that's 99 cents. If you get just just plain straight glycerine soap, like the hardcore stuff, is where it's at. Versus the ones that have all the added scents and stuff. I don't I don't need to smell like lavender when <laughs> when it's end times. I hate the smell of lavender, but I definitely don't want to go wandering around in the woods smelling like lavender. Probably gonna have every bee in the neighborhood trying to bite my face off. All right. I uh, already said that and gasoline is always a good item to have right uh, if you have a car and you're trying to escape a situation you can store gasoline for a long period of time with the use of PRI-G look up PRI-G and it's better than all the other fuel treatment stuff I, I, you can name off all of them but PRI-G has been the one that's always revived gasoline for me I've had gasoline in storage for a couple of years. It still works great in the vehicle. I can pour it right in and it works fine. In the event that my gas goes bad in my vehicle or gas goes bad in a gas can, I just pour the added amount that it says recommendations on the can. For my Pri-G, I add it to my gasoline and bring my gasoline back to refined state, back to its original state, factory grade. All right, uh, one more thing I want to add to this. Always have a backup plan to get to your target destination for your BOL. Uh, always have a backup plan. If it's car is your original plan, have a backup plan if you're going to need. If it's, I'm saying if it's long distance, have a backup plan. Have a bike. You know, it's a backup plan. Car didn't work, got to go to the bikes. There you go. You can, get, you can get there a lot faster on a bicycle or a motorcycle, just saying. If uh, you're going some extreme long distance and you need to conserve energy and gas, it's going to be a motorcycle. It'll get you there <laughs> a lot faster and a lot less gas mileage. I think it's like, um, I think uh, it would cost me on average, I think three gallons of gas would get you ridiculous it's like 50 miles to the gallon something like that for off of a gallon of gas most motorcycles can do that most can if you get one that's not ridiculous you know like some Harleys you know that would get about 30 miles to one gallon of gas right <laughs> Harley guys out there how dare you say that it gets 60 <laughs> all right let's not lie to ourselves it's still a Harley it's made in Mexico. I'm just kidding. Uh, Harley guys, don't leave me. All right, uh, community. <laughs> Thinking of people that own Harleys. All right, I'm sorry. I'm back to the back to focus here. Community, work together, and you can make it. And practice opsec. If you can't, if you feel you don't trust it, certain people, don't go telling them things that you do. Build a community. Build a community, but don't go telling the wrong people. You know who those people are. It's somebody that you just you've probably talked to once or twice. Tell the person that you know doesn't talk a lot. You know doesn't go running around telling Ed and Freddie and all of them. You know uh, doesn't run around telling everybody. Right. You want to make sure you tell the right person if you're wanting to. You know. I think that person's great, and I really want to talk to them about this sort of stuff. Ease them into it, but practice your OPSEC, right? I utilize OPSEC every time I do these videos. I don't give out my real location. I don't give out my real name. You know what I mean? There's things that you have to do for OPSEC, right? You have to, <laughs> just saying, you have to practice OPSEC. It's very important. 
Loose lips sink ships. Right? Right. I think I about covered everything that you would probably need for the most part. But this is just kind of the generalized basics. I do have a video in my old stash of videos. It was a prepared preparedness checklist. That's totally different than this video, but it's close to this video that will get you started if any of you are planning to begin doing this stuff. But it was the prepper, I think it was prepper checklist or preparedness checklist or something like that. I can't remember what I called that, but it was a pretty good video and it had a list of stuff in there that was pretty cool. And stuff that you could just, you could do the drop down and it has a list there. So it's a pretty good video. It's, it's an older one that I did. All right. I'm going to let you go for now. You're watching SOS. I'm Staff Sergeant Bass. Have a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic day. Stay alive. Don't die. God bless America. And take it easy.